The John Clay Wolf Show has appeared on terrestrial radio for a really, really, really long time. So we dug into our pockets, and on the other side of our d- we found something funny. And yes, it's contagious. Gather round as the Wolf Pack goes on this throwback adventure. Hey, this is Lacey G with the John Clay Wolf Show, and coming through the archives this morning, I heard all of the stereotypes. Literally, they all called in this particular morning, and you'll get a giggle from it. The content was just writing itself. Plus, the original Pimp My Ride. Yes, this is whenever DJ Pre-K got his caddy. So what did he buy for it? And the story that JD isn't legally allowed to share. Listen and enjoy. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to ask you just to pull down your shorts. <laughs> this is going to be a blast. Broadcasting live from the Wolf Radio Studios, it's time for the John Clay Wolf Show. Hit him up now. 800-800-RADIO. Oh, God, that show is so dumb. Remember, the show is free. Now, John Clay Wolf. Well, Is he still alive? Of course he is. What do you mean? He's Brian alive. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian Wilson. Do you think Dave was high on cocaine when he did you this? Stop right there. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, boy, was he? <laughs> stop. Were you there, Bob? <laughs> he was so high, he was low down on coke, man. I think that guy that was taking pictures of us yesterday was with him for that magazine. I think so. That fella. Do you think? It was weird that, I, I don't know. I, listen, Whoa. Can you yell like that naturally? Wow! Hey, everybody! It's Diamond Dave Radio. Good morning! Did you ever hear his morning radio show when he did it for CBS for about six weeks? I'm going to do a talk show because I'm going to replace Howard Stern. Why? Because I suck. (laughs) Bad. I suck so bad (laughs) that they're going to turn me off. Six weeks after we start this thing, across the whole USA, <laughs> and right here in California. It's unbelievable. I've literally never seen ratings go to a point zero, and they, they did for David. And the promos that started were the best, because all they did was David Lee Roth, nothing but wow. That was it. <laughs> that was little, it. That was the promo that started two went, weeks. David Lee Roth, nothing but, nothing wow. but suck. <laughs> That's what it was. Bobby, See, I didn't experience that firsthand, and I've heard you guys talk about it because you were living down here in this area. When that happened, I remember the Chevy Chase talk show on Fox. Yes. And that kind of had a, a poor uh, uh, ratings experience. Because you're good at one thing doesn't necessarily mean you could do a morning can't show. Imagine. I can touch my toes, do cocaine, and scream, and screw all <laughs> the pretty California girls. But how could it have been that bad? I know. It's David Lee Roth. He's it, pure showbiz. That's exactly what happened in the CBS meetings when they sat down. They went, okay, look, he's David Lee Roth. He's Van Halen. Come on. He knows multiple languages. He's a brilliant guy. How could it suck? And he did. What's that's just multiple corporate, languages? He, he speaks, suck and suck with a tilde? No, he speaks like French and he speaks, you know, he's, he's, and they just sat down. They had this great, he was going to be the next Howard Stern. Well, huh? I was down for it. That is showbiz. They saw him do that spinning roundhouse kick. That was it. On the jump video. And they're like, well, this guy can do anything. Sure. He's <laughs> clearly do more. He's going to be a great radio guy. I mean, Stern can't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name's John Clay Wolf. John Clay Wolf. To my right is J.D. Ryan. Good morning. Bobo. The Bobo and the. Michael Turley. Hi, Tina. It's Mike. I've got a great, I've got a great radio scheme for you. Ready? Two words. David Lee Roth. Oh, man. Well, that's never mind. <laughs> okay. But that's about how it went down. 800-800-7234 is the call-in number. Good morning, Texas, Dallas, Dallas, San Diego, Bakersfield, Houston. Houston's where our heart is. Dallas is where our body is. Yeah. California's where the future is. Kind of. Where the California girls are. We're pretty happy here, though. Vegas. Vegas. The mountain. Yeah. The mountain. We need to go to Vegas. I'm going to go to that iHeart uh, concert out there in the fall. Are you really? Yeah, where they, you know, they have all the top 40 X. And you say I. Speaking of suck. You mean what? It's just not my kind of music. Huh. So your wife's going with you, right? Right. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, here's how into top 40 I am. Sam Smith, 
I have tickets for him in my bag. And I was trying to give them away yesterday. <laughs> and it wasn't until one o'clock at the bar with my cousin. You know how I get drunk with my cousin when my wife's out of town? This, sure. is, a, this is a pattern. Yes. I didn't realize that that concert was last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's how into it I am. Yeah. Thank you, James, for the tickets. Sorry I didn't use them. Yeah. I'd have loved to have sold them. <laughs> But she got uh, the, the the buzz down in Houston Hooked her up with six ticks And she took her mama from Denmark And her sister And her The whole the whole Dane clan The whole Danish soccer team The no. national football team no. They went down to Houston And went and watched Sam Smith last night Hang on a second I gotta fix this Because DJ's out getting my coffee Which is nice of him Since I'm like Good morning, you're on the air Yeah, man We're listening to you here in Rockport all right. right. Hey, how's the uh, how's the repair since the Her- Harvey last year? Is it? I heard it's still screwed up down there from the hurricane a year uh, later. Yeah, the little town of Fulton, we lost about half of it, but they're starting to rebuild a little bit. But they're still tearing down houses every day. The houses that were built in the forties. There's time for those to go anyway. <laughs> Did insurance pay for anything? I heard insurance isn't paying right. Everybody's suing their insurance companies. It's kind of a mess. Well, yeah, that's that's going to go on with any storm, though, you know, here in Texas. Right. All right, thanks for the check-in. Good morning, you're on the air. Hey, David Lee, what? <laughs> New Orleans gutter snipes to say morning. Uh... Top of the morning to you, New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, you... oh, we don't say that. Here. Oh, oh you can't, sorry. you can't, you can't cuss on the radio. Not anymore, I anyway. I, 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 we don't say that, no, Lynn. No, no. What, what do y'all say? What? What do you say? I'm a yes, man. I'm down here by miscreation. Wow. Are you drunk? What now? Right this minute. <laughs> right this minute. A little bit of that David Lee Rock. <laughs> Everybody's up. All of our listeners are checking oh, in. 800-800-7234. Let's hear from you, California and Vegas. Yeah. Boogie check. You know Call this- in. Let us know you're alive and your status and your uh, your blood type and your pulse. 800-800-7234. What, Charlie? You notice the stereotypes are true. New Orleans, drunks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Texan, you know, you got your just drawn. Like borderline down. retard. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what is, what's Oklahoma going to be? Oh, that's Oklahoma, not yeah. Texas. Yeah. Vegas, you know, they're going to be they're going to be they're going to be all tail. all whacked out on dope. Surely not. <laughs> hey man, they're all skitsing out, you know, looking for a deal, looking for some tickets. Uh, you guys Sam Smith tickets? Is are, you get my Sam Smith tickets? Yeah. Dad, I just need to borrow I, some more I, money. I want to see that show. What was I, last I, night? Okay, I'll go back in time. It'll be all right. I got to play craps real quick, come on. Just, right. just a couple more bucks. Come on. Just a couple more bucks. Oh, Sam Smith. Uh, who's that anyway? Why does my Sam wife Smith like, is that guy? He's got that. Got my money on my voice. mind. Money on my mind. You I ever, mean, it's the worst song ever. You ever heard him sing Aerosmith? Hang on, I got more people. Hello. <laughs> You're on the air. Yes, it's Hello. you. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hey, I've got a Corvette I want to sell. Okay. Hang on just a second. I've got to put you on hold. DJ Pre K's done getting my coffee, so it's got everything screwed up. It's all his fault. I shouldn't have done a call out to people without a call screener. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Where are you from? Where are you from? San Diego. San Diego. California. What color is it? Bob, gray. can you go help me with the phones? Huh? Yeah. It's gray on gray. Gray is gray letter. How many? Uh... You, you don't sound like you're from California. You sound kind of redneck. Yeah, I'm kind of transplant. Transgender? Can't say that on the radio no, anymore. No, 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 no. No, that's no, Mexico. No. You're not allowed to say JD. Right. No, or Canada. It's whatever. Close. What about Alaska? Okay. <laughs> so what? What year's your vet? 2016. This is Z06. Z0616. How many miles? 9,500. That's good. You ever gotten drunk and wrecked it? Um, no. Bob, you got to pick them up and put them on hold. Will you go show them, Charlie? Um. Good Lord. Everybody's out of the room now, but just you and me. Yeah. Hi, J.D. How Hi, are you? Good morning. Well, we got Mr. California, San Diego. on yes, the, How's the weather down there, San Diego? Nice. Nice. Beautiful. It's always Cooler beautiful. Cooler than it is where you're at. Yeah. It was 107 here yesterday. 
Okay, a Z0616 with 9,000 miles, no wrecks. Um, there, which LZ, LT, LZ, what package is it? It's uh, one LZ. One LZ, it's going to be... 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60 Yeah, we'll buy it. Well, you're easy. You're slut. Early. <laughs> Still asleep. <laughs> okay, so if that'll buy it, am I overbidding it? Did I screw up? I was looking for 61, but I'll take 62. Well, I mean, I, unless I'm missing something, I'm fine there. Go to givemethevin.com and load it up. Givemethevin.com. Um, Put on the info. Wolf hit it at sixty-two grand on the air. Uh, what's next? I can tell you what's next. We're going to come to your house and pick it up and pay you. Is there a payoff? No. Okay. So let's give you a check, and then we're going to haul it um, up to uh, Fontana, where we hold all of our cars. Awesome. Yep. All right. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. his money. Yes. 800-800-7234, 800-800-RADIO. Doug, good morning. Good morning. Um, I got a... Uh, I, go ahead. Yep. Yeah, I got a... Uh, I bought an 06 uh, Jeep Commander uh, Limited Edition, 127,000 miles. I gave 10, 5, 4. I was just wondering, you know, was it a good deal? Does it have twin roofs, a V8, and like the King Ranch kind of leather? I'm sorry. Uh, it was okay. It was go- okay. Right. <laughs> Good morning, you're there. Good morning. Hello. Radio show is- Good morning. All right. You're on the air. Is this is this the radio show that was talking about Diamond Davy Dave Lee Raw? This is the radio show that was talking about. Good morning. It's Diamond Dave. Yes. Nothing but wow. Cool, man. Now, man. True or not? Okay. But I heard a rumor that he's carrying around a poop bucket now because he suffers from major indigestion. Mm-hmm. And that that's the exact same kind of condition I've got right now. Do you carry a poop bucket around with you? Well, you ain't kidding. I, I do. Is, I it, do but, is, is it strapped to like I, your stomach? Is it a colostomy bag or just like a five-gallon? No, it's, it's, I'd say it's about... It's probably about a gallon and a half, something like that. And it's full. It, it takes me about maybe a day and a half to fill it up. But I, I typically was using it because um, I, my, my bathroom is, is clogged up in my trail. Mm. Yeah. J.D., okay. your, your, your in-laws just called in. They're on the other line. <laughs> and there's Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oklahoma checked in. We were on the air in Oklahoma. <laughs> Clearly. Chris, where are you from? <laughs> Wiley. Where the hell's Wiley? It's outside of Dallas. Okay. It's way out, we're, out, we're way out here in the sticks, yeah. out in, uh, on Lake Ray Hubbard. We're right on Lake Ray Hubbard. Are you, and, are you uh, drinking coffee or, or, or Bloody Marys or haven't been to bed? What's your story? Why are you up, why are you up so early uh, on Saturday? Uh, you don't want to know my story, dude. <laughs> light bulb. All right. Oh. Yeah. How, how does it go, Bob, the light bulb thing? You can find yourself smoking from a light bulb. <laughs> at any hour out there in Wiley. <laughs> but how does it go with you and your friend when y'all are doing it? Oh, well, you're sitting at a table, you know. He's got the light bulb. He's got his big lighter, you know, down below because you can't afford a torch anymore. <laughs> he's, got his he's making circles, you know. Now, you, you have to twist the light bulb while you're going, and he's waving that big lighter under it, you mm-hmm. know. You don't want to burn it all up in one mm-hmm. hit, right? And you're going, and your best friend since the second grade is sitting with both of his hands wide open in supplication in front of you. Waving his hands at you, going, "You're burning it! You're burning it! You're burning it! You're burning it! You're burning it! Let me do it! Let me do it! Let me do it!" <laughs> it's just like you and me trying to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, it does. Eight hundred, eight hundred, seven, two, three, four, eight hundred. Hang the guitars! Hang the guitars! Eight hundred radio. Oh, on our Facebook page, John Clay Wolf Show, Uh-oh. we have DJ Preke's new uh, new uh, T-shirt. He, he he's going. He, he's already. You know, we just Telling released. You. We just released his hit last week. Sure. And he's already gone into the merchandising business. It's already gone paper. He's already gone. Well, he and I haven't made any deal yet, though. Ah. Oh, I, I didn't I think heard about him that. mouthing a little bit about uh, that. He's wondering about his cut. I did too. Yeah. So well, I, it is his idea. It is his song. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that later on. But I'm Barry Gordy of this deal. Okay. He's just Stevie Way, a white Stevie Wonder. <laughs> you ain't put my image on no shirt till I get paid. 
<laughs> you can go to John Clay Wolf show if you're a DJ pre-K fan and uh, buy his t-shirt. And everyone is. It's pretty funny. DJ, thanks for running Starbucks for us. One day, soon, you will, I'll be getting your coffee. Right. Hey, man, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's ironic is he, he came home in his Cadillac. Yep. And he didn't tell his mom about it. He was going to surprise her. You know, hey, I got a Cadillac. And he got there, and she was so... She had such mixed emotions. She was so disappointed because when she saw it, she thought he bought it for her. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, that's how that's supposed to work, you know. Yeah. Br- bring, bring a caddy home for mom. Yeah. Did she like your car? Oh, yeah, man. She's digging it. I told her she could take it to the new market sometime. It's on me. <laughs> well, it's the right vehicle for that. It's waiting for that album to drop. Did you go to the, if you go to the Facebook page right now, too, you can help trick out pre K's. Really? Whip. Yes. How's that? Well, he's looking for ideas good morning, on how to trick it out. Yes, yeah. good morning. Good morning. And you know what trick it out means, right? Sure, yeah. yeah. But pimp, pimp, pimp his pimp, ride. Pimp his yeah. ride. Sure. Pimp. Can okay. you say pimp my ride you on the radio? Can, absolutely. Can, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, can, can you do that in Mexico? Nope. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about Canada? <laughs> yes. But pre is talking about putting like a Gucci <laughs> top on it or something. Now, that, that would look good, yeah. DJ. Oh, yeah. What's, what's a Gucci top? Oh, yeah. On a car? Yeah. So it's got a Simcon top. It's a 1990 oh, Eldo. Yeah. That you. funky, weird little body style that wasn't that long. And and it's got it's a white one with a... It's got wire wheels, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got some uh, wire hub caps on that, baby. That's right. And the, and then a, a, a Simcon top, which is just a, the, the fake convertible top. Now, hang on. That's a great idea, DJ. Are we going with a Gucci top? Man, I'm thinking either Gucci print or Louis Vuitton, man. Okay. One or the other. Or maybe some Fendi, man. Talk it's to a, talk to Glenn Farley in our uh, he he's our he has all those vendors that work for him that are making all the gimme the Vin cars get ready every week. He can hook you up with okay. our vendor. Okay, I'll have to holler at him. You gotta do that. Are you gonna get with Dayton's? I'm thinking either Dayton's or 84's, man. Shout out to all my Houston people, man. They know what's going down. This is the John Clay Wolf Show. Get a haircut, buttercup. America's largest weekend morning show. 800-800-RADIO. Check out the podcast at jcwshow.com or johnclaywolf.com. J.D., did you really have sex with Ann Wilson? Or is that is that a wives' tale from that the is, 80s? That's partially wives' tale, partially true. Huh. Well, was, I, mean, I can't tell the rest of the story. It's, well, uh, it's, oral's there's not a, there's, an in, there's an injunction. So, What? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. No, I really want to. I mean, it was I knew that back, back, then, you, back then you liked heavy gals. Yeah, but this actually ended up being Nancy. And, and Ann watched. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Were you the magic man? Is this, wait, turn no, it up, Charlie. Is this who he, is, oh, is this yeah. about JD? This is about JD. You're a, it, it it, that's what this all was. I, I, you know, I never want to bring this kind of stuff up publicly. Uh, and their mom walked in and she goes, he's the magic man, mama. <laughs> is that right? And that's exactly. how the song came what, out. Exactly. What, did, what did mom say? Come on home, girl. No, what did she say to her mom? Uh, I don't know. You said that pretty well. He's a magic man, He's mama. A magic man, mama. <laughs> you sound like you're from. If you love me, why you put my heart? You, you sound like you're from Hobart, Oklahoma. Like an old bar. <laughs> Ty in Athens, a 16 King Ranch diesel with 20 leather roof nav. Is it a dually? Uh, no, it's not a dually. Long, better, short. Long bed. <laughs> He's a magic man, Mama. <laughs> is <laughs> what? what co- oh, we're just having fun. What color is it? Oh, it's it's a two tone black uh, King Ranch. A 2016 old body style. Great miles, yep. twenty thousand miles. Leather roof nav. Long yep. bed. Does it need tires? Yep. Oh no. Uh. Uh-uh. Just rotated them. Had all changed. Mm. Do you really want to sell it? Well, it depends on what the number is. Because I'm thinking about getting a one-ton 2017, I mean a uh, three-quarter ton, because it'll pull the same same tow as this. Okay. If I gave you 47000 would you be impressed? No, not really. If I gave you forty eight, would you be impressed? No, not really. If I gave really. you 40, you if I, if I, you if I gave you 49 <laughs> would you be impressed? <laughs> 
You, you know you can buy a new one for No, in the fifty in the fifties I'd be impressed. Okay, I'll give you fifty grand. Are you gonna sell it? Tell you what, I'll I'll probably call you back right. after I pick my grandson up. Go to give me <laughs> It's so wonderful. Oh I love it. Hey, Ty, I, I, I'm going to make fun of you, but it's all in good hey, spirit. It's okay, man. It, 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 it's, Life's too short not to make fun of people. It's in good spirit. I, I'm saying that because I don't want to piss you off because I want to buy your truck. <laughs> so go to. Oh, no. Uh, go to, go, I'm just uh, wondering because I'm give me, the CPA. I got to run the numbers on this. Go to give me the vent. Go to give me the vent.com and load the truck up and we'll get it bought. So, I mean. We have the our our customer base sure. is the busiest, most ill health what? traveling customer base I've ever, ever seen in my life. What do you say? I mean, the second he and I I did what he wanted me to do. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go pick up my grandson. Help <laughs> me! What? <laughs> Holy hell! I'm running late. It's six forty five <laughs> in the morning on Saturday. Yeah. And I am way behind schedule. Dude. But we, we we do these deals with people all over the country, and they're always like. Um, bought a Corvette in, in Bakersfield, California. All right. Sending him down to Lamborghini North uh, Los Angeles in LA. to drop it off. Sure. That's where he wanted to do it. Okay. We send the check. Guy sitting there with the check waiting. Guy won't show up. He won't answer the phone. Everybody's sick. Everybody's dying. Huh. But up to that point, that day, he, it was just constant communication. Like wearing everybody out on the phone. Just suddenly just vanished. Oh, yeah. It's just when it comes down to showtime, people get cold feet. Often, and their health is really concerning. That's the question. Their health, their health kicks in and just I changes just everything. I think I'm dying right now. I have noticed that the Cali customer is a little bit more laid back. Mm -hmm. Really? Because we had that same situation where we bought this guy's truck. Everything's good, good, good. All right, mm -hmm. everything's waiting for you. Show up. Right. Just oh, show up. Man, yeah, I got something going on right Dude, now. Dude, I'll, 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 I'll call you back. Waves are curling. Days pass. Uh -huh. oh, days? No, no. Yes, days. And I think it's I think it's just the Cali thing. They're just laid back and not really in a rush. Ocean's calling, babe. Yeah, Gotta go. surfs up. Got to go, man. Got Thirty when, footers. When we send them that contract, I mean, it's a purchase order, and we sign it, they sign it, and on the bottom of it, it says, "If you back out of this, sure. you owe us two hundred and fifty dollars." And like, why? Like, well, I'll tell you why. Yeah, because we like deployed a lot of assets in the, on your word. Sure. Accounting's rolling, transportation's rolling, Logistics, payoff, everybody. your lender, all this crap. The buyer, we're going to your house on your word that you're not going to pull this crap on us. Right. <laughs> and if you don't, it, it, I mean, I, I, really, we'd use that as a as a snuff out maneuver because if they're asking why, it gives us an opportunity to really solidify the that whole thing's real. done over 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 your word. Right. Really, at the end of our give me the vin dot com, the whole thing's our word and your word. It's actually crazy in a dot com world and sorry ass used cars that the whole thing's built on honor. And it is. It really is. And that's why it blows people away when it all happens. They all come and go, I can't believe it happened. Just like you said it did. It go, blows their mind. Go read the reviews. Give me the vin.com presents the John Clay Wolf Show. We'll be right back after this. People trying to help uh, pre K pimp his ride on our website, on our Facebook page, John Clay Wolf Show. Let's see here. We have uh, needs white walls and spinners. Okay. Another guy says the, it needs white, white walls and spinners. You, are, are you spinners? Are you, yeah. Okay. Are you are spinners? You, okay. Is that hard to hear? No, no, it just sounds like you're like, like talking like a gay man. I was in spinners. Okay. Silly guy. Needs rims. Right, let that go. Ball is balling <laughs> off the lot decals. Girls, girls, and more girls. As many girls that'll fit in the baller mobile. Uh, what else here do we have? Ditch the cowgirls shirt that he's wearing. Cowboys shirt that he's wearing. Uh, what else? It needs to be painted dark. Dark purple with gold flakes. Go to uh, Junkley Wolf Show and you'll see DJ Prek's new Eldorado. Twenty inch rims. He's, he's pimping out. He needs y'all's uh, participation on what to do with and it. And hydraulics. Oh uh, yeah, I saw some of these suggestions, man. I think the my favorite so far is the add add, add to the suspension for all the big booty broads. I'm about to have to put it in the back seat, baby. <laughs> hey, did a uh, did Lieutenant Dan? Is he getting a divorce? What? Huh? Are our Lieutenant Dan in house? No. I noticed on his Facebook, I just got a, um, during the break, I was looking at my Facebook page, and it, I got an invite to be a friend of his. Okay. But, so, he, he's got one of those joint Facebook accounts. Uh, you know, like, 
him, um, Lieutenant the the, and Corporal. Bi- um, yes, Lieutenant and and Mrs. Dan. Right. What a pain! In the, why do people do that? Why do married people well, I, do I that? I just didn't know maybe he's splitting up from her because he went all he's going all the way out on a limb. He's going rogue. And, he's going rogue <laughs> and getting his own Facebook account. Right. Usually that's the case. Why do they do that? It comes up on your birthday notifications on Facebook, right? Mm-hmm. James and Wendy. James and Wendy. Well, whose birthday is it, James? You know? Oh, excuse me, Wendy. There's nothing that says, I love you and I trust you like a joint Facebook account. <laughs> right. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I think Lieutenant Dan just didn't have time for one. Yeah, he's and pretty so, country. Yeah, he just kind of, he actually, here's the truth. He just bought a new phone. Mm-hmm. And it's state of the art. It's he got had, internet? Yes, it does. <laughs> I'll be damned. I know. He had you no, don't believe he this. Could, he didn't, he's like, I could take pictures with this phone. I was like, we've been doing that for years. It ain't even black Our whole wide. business is based around that. And he, he, he just he put down the flip phone and yep. got a Facebook account. Now, a Facebook obviously, he didn't account. get a picture of himself on there because I'm looking at, at his <laughs> invitation right here, and mm. it's that little generic gray guy outline. <laughs> JD, do you have a joint Facebook account <laughs> no, with your guy? Of course not. No, no, never have. Never My would. wife has threatened me to go joint if what? I don't, if I don't, no you know, way. yeah. If you don't what? It's like a warning. You give her all kinds of stuff. She, what, what, she was just at SeaWorld with the kids. No, no, she no. travels she's, to she's concerts. It's not about me giving her anything. Know, well, it's about her she... giving me the business. Oh, you give the business. <laughs> Back with more of the John Clay Wolf Show after this. Presented by GiveMeTheVin.com. Yo, DJ Pre-K, what did you get? Uh, did you go to, DJ, did you go to Walmart last night? Oh, he can't hear me. For sure, man. Yeah, I got me a little something, something. Yeah. Oh, that must mean it's time to play our game. Why don't we uh, mm-hmm. start it? Yeah, we can do it. What the hell? Hey, hey, what you get? My name's John Clay Wolf, JD Ryan, <laughs> Bobo, and Turley. FYI, for you new listeners out there. And pre K. This, this is the John Clay Wolf Show in Pre K, and he he has a rapper handle, uh, DJ Pre K. Yeah. And we're bringing him up through the uh, like the Big Brothers and Sisters program. Right. Yeah. And he didn't just do this for the show. He's been doing this a long time. In fact, he had a rap song three years ago before Weezer redid the Africa song from Toto. He did And it. Toto's going to be on the show next week because I'm going to try to get clearance from them for the uh, music bed. Like, <laughs> it's, so awesome. We're, we're going to do it opposite of what Vanilla Ice did. We're not just going to steal their music. We're going to ask them if we can steal it. If they say no, then we're going to say, well, we already stole it. Yeah, too late. Isn't that funny? Vanilla Ice just took that song lick and said, this is mine. Yeah. Well, he was like 10 years old. Yeah. He didn't know any better. Uh, Pre-K Dang. got one-on-one. Um, hang on. Uh, uh, da, da, da. So Pre-K goes to Walmart, and we've got to guess what did he get last night at Walmart. How much did it cost, boss man? Yeah, I'm going to give y'all just one hint, man. I got the price right here, and that's the everyday low price. From my local Azle, Texas Walmart. Are you getting a kickback here, uh, man? And this is before tax. Uh, I'm going to let y'all know. It's 1886 before tax. 1886. Oh, boy, that could be a so lot. Of start. How much is it after tax? Oh, you can't even do the math because there's other items in there. Oh, no. Nah, I, I just bought this one, you know. I just needed one little thing this time. So uh, th- it was 2042 total after tax. Okay. And what time did you buy it? What time is the, re- the receipt time stamped? Let's see. Uh, um, I think it was around eight twenty. Okay. Okay. Not too late. Not crazy drunk late. All right. Walmart Azel. So was it anything you can eat? Nope. And y'all can call in real quick eight hundred eight hundred radio and help me guess. Right. You get to guess. You get to ask one yes or no okay. question. Because he just got a new car. I'm gonna ask. Did mm. it come from automotive? Mm. Mm. JD, you got the right idea. Oh, okay. All right. That's my question. Nice, JD. Bobo? When you use it, is it something you hold in your hand? Oh, no, no, no. Turley? Do your feet go on it? Nope, man. Have you seen the shag rug in my Cadillac? I, I ain't not, touching no. that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Did you get a pine tree air fresher? Oh, no, no. Nah, nah. We already had those, you okay. know. I'm, yeah, uh, what's I'm it called? A felony tree? Trees. Felony tree. When you have a bunch of them stacked up, it's a felony, felony tree. Forest, yeah. Felony forest, yeah. Felony forest. Felony forest. Got to hide the smell of them bricks. Somebody out there is going to figure this out. You get to ask Pre-K one yes or no question, and then you get a guess. And if you guess what it is, for how much Pre-K was the price? 
1886 before tax, 2042 afterwards. So all we know right now is it's car. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and let them stack up on, on, on the phones and, and let the listeners. I've already burned through my plug. So the winner's already, they'll, they'll win that actual. Right, there's a prize. Yeah, if you guess what it is, you get to take it home. Yeah. So, Bobo, yeah. you started a new band. You sold out. You changed the name of your band. You sold out to SeaWorld. And you're now Bobo and the, and the Killer Whales? Yeah. And our, our little background singers, we got three little girls that sing back up, and they're the Shrimpers. The Shrimpers. Yeah. Okay. Is they, this like a Bob Marley meets Jimmy Buffett deal? Yeah, they changed the deal on me. It's it's all, and I'm, you know, and I'm trying very hard to learn all these lyrics in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> Why? They hate me. I, just, I don't even understand what the hell's going on. Why don't you just pl- play me some of your music? Yeah, I, I got some. Yeah. Uh, I, got, I got DJ <laughs> Bree K back there going, yeah, yeah, boy, and then Bobo. As the killer whales with the shrimpers on accompaniment? And it, it all started when his little tie-in with SeaWorld happened. Of course, the killer whales are going away in SeaWorld. Last year, uh, San Diego does not have them anymore. And then this year, next year, I'm sorry. Did San Diego just load them up and let them out in the ocean? No, they did not. They moved them. And Where then, to? The, the, they to sold a, them to a golden crown. To a sanctuary. Stop it! To a sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. They can't just let them lose. SeaWorld San Diego sold the orcas to Golden Corral? Yeah. To, to a are they on the buffet? No, when they asked them, they wanted to make sure, are you going to really take good care of them? They said, oh, yeah, we'll take care of them. <laughs> San Diego, <laughs> or San Antonio and Orlando will uh, phase out the killer whales by the by 2019. <laughs> but Bobo. But Bobo's going to be the killer whales forever now. We don't have all day, boss. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> key is it? Holy hell. Ta ra ra boom yay. Ta ra ra boom yay. What? Ta ra ra boom yay. 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 I got mine yesterday. Ta ra ra boom yay. Did you get that from, um, is that John Anderson? That's movie? all the Spanish I know. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that from the Banana Splits Club? <laughs> you know I did. Yeah. The, you know I did. Those were the shrimpers, those little girls playing those acoustics? <laughs> right. Oh, and they're beautiful. And I don't understand the a word. What was thing. that? Mark in Louisiana, did you, were you at... Your biggest hit, J.D. Mark in Louisiana, did you go to Foreigner last, uh, last night in Houston? Nope, I did not. But I saw Foreigner, thanks, I mean, um, July 4th in Charlotte. North Carolina? Yeah, I'm from. I live in South Carolina. Okay. And I'm a, I'm a truck driver. I'm a truck driver, man. I'm I'm cruising through uh, Louisiana right now on I-10. Awesome. East. Awesome. Keep on. I, I've, huh? I've seen Florida three times in the last five years. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, there you man. go, Mark. A big round of applause for Mark, the truck driver who has seen Foreigner three, three times. times in the past five years. God. And we didn't even ask him what he thought that uh, pre-K ball. Okay, pre-K. Rear, me, what, you, Chris, you there? I'm here, I'm here. So we're re, uh, pre-K goes to Walmart. He just got a new car. He went and bought something for $20. We're trying to guess what it is. Chris is on line six. Chris, uh, it's your turn. All right, so I, we figured out it's an old school Cadillac. So floor mats are out the window. That's initially what I thought it was. He bought a newer car, and floor mats make sense. But now I'm thinking old school caddy. Uh, it, you know, one of those dice, a pair of dice that hangs from the rearview mirror. But that's pre K. That's how players yeah. roll, man. But I ain't playing that hard yet. <laughs> you know, I might have to get the white and gold <laughs> dice to uh, match it eventually. But that's not what I bought. All right, who's this guy? That the, 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 the next one? Are you there? I don't have his name. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your deal? Uh, yeah, um, I, I believe he bought seat covers. Seat covers? DJ Pre-K, did you buy seat covers? No seat covers, man. The leather is already pretty pristine in that bad boy. But with that nasty, ah! with that nasty fro, Josh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Alvin. Awesome. Josh, with that, I mean, uh, DJ, with that nasty rat tail fro thing you've got in the back, I think you should get plastic, clear plastic. Did you ever see the movie Boys in the Hood? Oh, yeah. Get the clear plastic like uh, Grandmama used to put on the couch. Yes, yes, uh-huh. yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. I might have to, man. Yeah, I don't want to get that activate on my leather. Right. Hmm. 800 800 radio 9 Lexus, how many miles? Uh, right under uh, 115. Which, what kind of Lexus? GS 350 RWD. 
What color? Metallic silver. What city? San Antonio. Not San Diego, but San Antonio. Yeah, oh. I tried to tell you for a loop there, man. I got you. Uh, it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a it's a eighty five hundred to nine grander eighty five hundred to nine eighty five hundred to nine grander. Now, well, you didn't ask me. I don't have I don't have nav. All right. Well, okay. now it's eight. I don't know. It's eight to nine grand. Go to give me the vin. Do you want to sell it? I want to sell. I'm I'm ready to go, man. Okay. Uh, it, it's it's at the dealership. We just put a battery in it and then did the AC refresh with the added freon. Mm-hmm. And then my wife was like, you know what? I don't even want the car she anymore. She said, sell that bitch. Sell that bitch. Sell that bitch. Let's I'm go. I'm ready to sell that bitch. Okay. Um, John, I'm ready to sell that bitch. Okay. Well, you can't, you're getting baptized this morning. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com, load it up, and we will get that bitch sold and get you paid. Ben, DJ, what, yes, what, what's your guess for DJ Pre-K? Uh, I'm thinking he gets hot down there in Texas. He's going to have to keep that steering wheel cool with a cover on it. DJ? No steering wheel cover, man. If I'm going to get a, something for my steering wheel, it's going to be a wood grain wheel, baby. Uh, mm-hmm. Grant Racing. Brenda, good morning. Brenda, I like her answer. I see it already. So remember, DJ got a 1990 model old school pimp daddy Eldo with 40,000 yeah. miles. God, great. And, and he went and bought some stuff for it. And Brenda's got a great. I, Brenda's, yeah, smart. Brenda's smart with what she's going to say. Okay. Go ahead, Brenda. I see, I see it. I think it's antifreeze. Because it's a leaking old no count. Is she right? Nah, man, but that might be a good suggestion. I might have to pick some of that you, up. You need to keep a bottle of a uh, of um, water. water in your trunk, and not, not for drinking. That's funny, Brenda. Where are you from, Brenda? Arlington, Texas. All right, thanks for calling. So nobody's got it yet. Interesting. We'll we'll keep working on it. That's say y'all want some hints or something. No, no. Okay. I mean, are, are they okay. in the vein? Is it? Is it? Is it something to help the car mechanically or cosmetically? Oh, it's cosmetic. Uh, okay. okay. So there you go. It's an automotive section, cosmetic, at Walmart for twenty bucks. Huh. Mm. It's already got wheel covers. God, yeah, it's it's cosmetic as all hell. Oh man, what would it be? Pete the Greek found in Oklahoma City. Yeah, JD has the story. JD Ryan with the news. I, I do <laughs> have the story. <laughs> Uh, hold on a minute. When, was, when did I get the story? When it was, was sent I given to you this story? morning. Oh, he was found actually. I, I, I is this true? Of, okay, this? so you, you need to set it up. Last week there was a robbery. We only have a minute and forty-five. You got time to go. Yeah. This guy that uh, I had beat up and stole his leg thirteen years ago because he was he he violated the sanctity of my home. Is yes, that a good way did. to put That's it? That's a very good way to put yes. it. He, he was, violated he was the sanctity in your home. And he, I'm trying not to hurt people that are related to this gotcha. so i'm trying to be nicer about it okay yep that's big of you i mean if she was out of town I'd... <laughs> uh, he violated the sanctity of my home in a huge way that's enough to say and i i yanked his leg off <laughs> you beat it, him up and i took beat his him leg. up i beat that bitch and i took his leg hold on but it was it was a prosthetic leg you didn't just rip his right. leg off. Well, I didn't right even... <laughs> right there was a robbery in oklahoma last week okay. and i don't think they've still caught the guy and I forget the name of the town that it happened in. Uh, it's in but, Oklahoma City. But I said I'll put 100 out there if somebody sends me a picture of them with Pete the Greek and his new prosthetic leg. And no one is sending any pictures. Well, we captured audio of one of the investigating detectives on the scene describing who it, it might be and why he thinks he, he's going to be easy to find. I right. think he'd gone in through the laundry room, which is connected to the office, and then forced the door open. Tall white male um, wearing a ball cap. Going into the office and leaving, it appears that the suspect had a left prosthetic leg. The vehicle has chrome rim, three chrome rims, and then the back uh, passenger side wheel is actually black. So he's got three mm-hmm. chrome and a mm-hmm. prosthetic leg Wait. in Oklahoma City, yes. found last week. We're in a ball cap. Is that Pete the Greek? If he speaks with a Greek accent, we have found our man. <laughs> and missing a rim and on his ass. And if he has a terrible drug problem. <laughs> Ronnie, good morning. You're on the air. Ronnie? Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm here, man. What did DJ Pre K get for his old school Cadillac at Walmart last night? Had to get some sweet, sweet car polish. DJ Pre K. Yes, no, maybe. Turn him on, Mike. 
Yeah, man. Uh, nah, that's a no go, man. It's it's pretty clean as it is, man. That that cocaine a white paint is is not fair. Actually, actually, DJ Pre K, you're gonna need to learn how to clean your car. Uncle Roy and I talked about this. You do not have that thing standing right. You got to learn a whole new level of clean. Oh man, what what you mean? You don't you don't even know what you're doing. You're so damn. You, if you're gonna have to learn how to clean your car. We'll be right back. More of the John Clay Wolf Show presented by GiveMeTheVin.com coming up. Real quick, I'm gonna bump through these. I've got, I've got. I'm gonna hit these fast. Jamie, Timothy, everybody, get ready. DJ, you ready? I've got ready. a lot of people on hold. Here we go. This is what what did Pre K buy at Walmart last night for twenty dollars for his Cadillac? Jamie, you there? Hit it. The sun visor. Sun visor. The front windshield. It is hot, but nope. Timothy, what what's your guess? It's a touch up paint. What? Touch up, touch -up paint. paint. Nope. No. The paint is pretty good on this bad boy. Deborah, good morning. What's your guess? Uh, one of those fancy ass trays that sucks all the smoke in. You know what? I do like that suggestion. It might get a little smoky in there, but nope. <laughs> Tim, what's your guess? And that dude got a set of curb feelers. <laughs> curb feelers, pre-K. I feelers. like that. You know, I'm about, that's not it, but I might have to get some once I throw some rims on that bad boy. Chris, what's your guess? <laughs> Hey, uh, shiny license plate cover. Ding, 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 man. You got it. Hey, That's you it, right. Chris. What'd you get? What is it? Got a license plate cover with some uh, uh, diamonds around the side. Take a and picture and put it so, on our Facebook page. $18. Right? Yes, Those are diamonds. That's a fugazi. Chris, that's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Subscribe to the podcast. You can get new episodes as soon as they are posted. And subscribe to the John Clay Wolf Show Plus on Podbean for the forbidden, not safe for today's culture content. If you're a rebel like John. And to our friends of the radio audience, we bid a pleasant good night. You have unleashed the wolf. <laughs>